Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we're going to see how to reduce the boilerplate code while using the iNotify property changed interface. In the last video, I talked about how all this property changes are invoked and all this stuff can get uh, pretty out of hand because if you can have like 10 properties, you need to implement them all like this and that just takes too much. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, we'll use the nugget package which is called property changed dot party and you'll see how easy it is to use and I almost forgot if you didn't watch the last video please check it out because it'll make more sense so we're basically talking about MVVM and how to use MVVM in Xamarin forms so let's add this nugget package property change that party and before we can use this library we need to do one more thing we need to add this for the weavers.xml file so let's copy this and we'll add this to the root of our Xamarin forms project new file empty xml file and we'll call it for the weavers and that's it and now paste this and that's it we can now use our property changed for the plugin and the only thing we need to do is add the decorator called add i notify property property changed interface and now add this namespace and that's it and now we can remove a lot of code here we can remove this implement we can remove this implementation of iNotify property changed because we don't need it anymore. This decorator does it for us at compile time. And now we can also remove this property and we can also remove all of this. And go get set. And we can also remove our private property since we're not anymore customizing the get and set properties. And now say hello. And that's it. Now, when this code is compiled, this add I notify property changed interface is going to implement the interface and basically did everything we did here. So that's basically it. We can now run the app and see if it works. Okay, so now our app is up and running and if you remember from the last video, if we didn't call the property change.invoke, this text simply wouldn't change. So let's see if it's the case now. Now since we added this decorator, it should change because at compile time it adds all the property change.invoke calls and everything. So let's try and it changed it. So as you can see, this is a lot easier way I can save you a lot of unnecessary typing, copying, pasting and whatnot. The next thing I'm going to show you is fresh MVVM. That is basically a very nice way to do MVVM. It's a framework specifically created for Xamarin forms and it can save you also some work. And navigation is not going to be from page to page, but from page model to page model. But more of that in the next video. I'll see you next time.